Well, hey there, YouTube. So this probably looks familiar, huh? It's been quite a while since I've done some uh, mod spotlights on spin tires. So, yeah, so here we are. So, yeah, today I think I'm going to show you the uh, Maz 501. I've been playing with this truck a bit, and I really like it for an older rig, you know. So let us start here. But yeah, sorry I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately. I was actually sick for about a week or so, and then, yeah, all kinds of dealing with stuff going on around the house and all that good stuff at the same time, so it's been quite up in the air. But yeah, anyway, enough of that, you know, so let us get to it, shall we? I like the look of that truck, look at that. Oh. Worn and old, but I love the old steel. Still gets the job done. Let's take a look inside. Oh, cool! Spinning fan, gauges, and everything. I like that. That's cool. Knobs, clutch, brake, gas, shifter. Oh wow! Look at that. Now that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, as for myself, I'm actually working on uh, a couple of uh, mod vehicles as well for spin tires. Still with the Dark Circle crew, so we definitely got some good stuff going. And, uh, it's been kind of slow going, though, for us lately, but we'll get there, you know. It's been a lot of personal issues going on with everybody, so, you know. All that good stuff. Springtime's here, you know, so lots of yard work and, you know, honeydew lists, chores, all that good stuff. But yeah, you know, let's take a look at all these add ons, shall we? It's like a fuel trailer. Garage parts, cool. Backup wheels. Ooh. One cabin. Oh, nice. That's cool. Chassis. Oh, a dump trailer, even. Gonna need a tractor for that. That's cool. Backup fuel tank. So it even covers 255 fuel. See, so yeah, that has 100. That has 150. I'm thinking it would have at least 200 since there's two tires there, you know. But just saying. You know, that does short points. Cool. Right. Tele trailer. Carriage low, 100 pair points on it too, that's cool. And it does have custom loads on here, so it's really neat. So you're not just, you know, hauling boring old trees all the time, you know. Tele carriage. High carriage. Trunk pull. Spotlight, that's cool. Long log trailer. Log cart. Garage tools, another trailer, garage trailer, be cool. Let's see if we can, oh, crawl, well, start up the engine. Oh, that sounds pretty beefy. Let's, see, let's get that. Let's put that trailer on. What else can we put on? Garage parts. Sweet. Oh. Holds three garage points too. Sweet. Okay, I think I want to put the backup fuel tank on. Anything else we can put on? Yeah, the light. Yeah, I think I'll leave that off. Oh, well, let's look at the tires now, shall we? So we got the defaults. Camera angles. But remember, they said there's nothing wrong with it, so whatever. Off-road wheels, road wheels. Oh yes, let's just use the road wheels. I like the defaults. Look at those. It's like the old military non-directionals, so.
This is a good looking truck. Sounds good too. Feels like it's running pretty good for being an automatic. Well, it's the top of 255 liters on the one tank, so I think it should be another 255 on the backup tank. We'll see. 300 damage, that's cool. This looks really good. Got the chassis flex, axle flex. It's got a 5 speed in it. Very cool. Alright, let's shift this on up to high going through the mud. Let's see how well that does. I'm pulling five garage points, it's doing pretty good. It's just powering right through it. And as always, I will leave a link at the bottom of this video for you guys, for this truck. I've used it quite a bit, and I definitely recommend it. So, I figured I just had to make a video for you guys, you know. It's been a long time since I've done a spin tires video, so... I need to get back to it, you know. Not sure what happened with all these lines and stuff. Really don't know what's been causing that. I don't know. Game's still playable, so. Two fifty-five on that too. Cool. So yeah, don't have a clue when the next update's coming out. So wish I could tell you guys, but. Some of you have probably seen that uh, Rock and Roll and my Deuce was out on the workshop at one time, which it was uploaded without our permission, so we had it taken down. And, uh, I really don't think we'll, we, we will be releasing that truck to the public, because in this, uh, this version of Spin Tires it still needs a lot of work, and Rock is just... He's totally down with making mods, so... I do know that somebody did take the truck without our permissions, so we're in a battle with that right now, too. And they modified it. And put it on the uh, World of Mods site, and they called it a Studebaker, which it is not a Studebaker. So I'm very pissed off about that, to tell you the truth. It's like we put a lot of work into that truck, not to have somebody steal it from us. Take it and rename it something else when they barely even did any work in it. So, yeah. The 
our version of it though, if you do still run the Legacy, it is still available on Spin Tires NL. The soft top version and the hard top version. But myself though, and Dark Circle, I'm going another route and I'm making my own CCKW Deuce and a Half, 1943, 44-ish. And it's coming along pretty good. I have it all, you know, period collect, custom loads, and everything like that. It's right now at the coding stage. So that's taking a little bit. But we also have quite a few trucks out there, and I have some very cool special trucks out there that are in the works. But I really don't want to say anything yet. Because I wanted to be a surprise when they do come out. Because I am so stoked on them. It's amazing just how much that Thunder Duck, Doc, Norsa have taught me since I joined with them. I'm really having fun with making mods, so. Hopefully, sometime soon, you'll be seeing some of our workout more and some of my workout more too. I'm excited about that. Which, I like doing the old trucks, so... I'm sure a lot of you agree that I uh, can't wait to see more old trucks on the spin tires. Yeah, so that garage is done. So let's see. Let us just do... So let's do a dump truck. And let's do the junk... Oh. oh, that's cool. Look at that bed. Very cool. Alright, let's do that. And let us haul a load, shall we? I haven't even really looked at the trailers, I've just been using just the truck by itself. Load up, shall we? Ooh, rocks. Oh yeah, that's cool. Rocks in this one too, right? Something's blocking the area, of course. Yeah, I love custom loads on here. with me, would ya, please? Not sure what in the world. Hmm. That's a shame. Ah, there we go. Whatever, anyway. Oh yeah. Can definitely feel the load now.
Yeah, and the headlights work. All right. Gearship to shake. Very cool. Oh, no handle. This <laughs> looks good. In there. Truck's running really good. Big props out to the creator of this mod. You can definitely feel that suspension in the cab. <laughs> driver in here. The steering wheel doesn't move, but as you watch, it does shake around a little bit, and it does slightly move, so that's pretty neat. favorites right now. Or KB3, excuse me, not KB6. But yeah, International 43. Excuse me, I'm just messing that all up. 1946 International KB3. Custom. So, yeah. I'm also doing a 
in some of the add-ons I'm doing a post World War II editions because you know a lot of after the war a lot of them went to you know ranches construction work and stuff like that you know so I'm just doing a little bit of post-war add-ons. And as some of you know, I do have my own 1943 Deuce and Half in real life, which I've been using that like I did on Rock and Rolls and my Deuce and Half as the real life model for it. So. do have pictures up on the Ubi forum, so I think I'll put the, the link for that on the bottom team, uh, the video for you guys as well, so, just for a little, you know, eye candy for you guys. This is going along pretty good. He went through that river like nothing. Definitely like this truck. But yeah, as always, you know, watch out for DCMTs, dark circles, mod trucks out there. lot of work into them, so any positive com comments is very helpful. Pos positive and constructive. Rock, uh, Doc's been, uh, excuse me, no, Doc's been kind of up in here, he's been off and on working on some maps and stuff. Thunderduck, he's put a lot of work on his new of the released Toyota Helix. It's like a lot of work. He's got the engines all animated and everything even. All kinds of add-ons. All trailers, cabs, beds, you name it, he's got it. It's, it's an awesome little truck and it's not built just for a trail either, you know. It's like a daily driver truck, you know. It's not something that you'd want to take out in the woods beat up all the time. But it's something that is actually, you know, useful. So it doesn't have a super lift kit on it or anything like that, you know. It's just a nice, good old work truck. And if you guys are interested in his Helix, I will also leave the link at the bottom here for you guys as well. And I'll probably do a video on it sometime down the line if you guys want. Or I'll probably do one anyway. So yeah, we're here. I think I will leave it at that. So we will see you on the next one. Bye.